Hello guys, welcome to Comsol 101. This is the third tutorial of this series. So today we will try to solve a heat transfer related problem and it is buoyancy flow in free fluids. Okay. This is the very basic heat transfer related problem in Comsol. If you can solve this problem in Comsol, you can solve any heat related problems in Comsol. So try to understand it and try to work it yourself. Okay. So here the problem says that you have a square cavity enclosed in which you are applying heat at one wall and giving cold temperature at another wall and the length of the walls are one meter and one meter precisely okay so let's try to build this in our console we go to model wizard select 2d select fluid flow single phase flow and add the laminar flow of the fluid then we go to heat transfer select heat transfer in fluid and add it okay and go to mathematics okay we will add this later we will show you how to add physics inside the console okay so we'll select study then we will select stationary and done okay now we'll go to geometry select primitives and build the square as you can see the side length is one as so if we are good to go so we will select build all objects and create the square and select zoom extent okay now what we have to do is we have to define the parameters of this square okay so here we see that there is a model definition oh I, I forgot to say that I have downloaded this PDF from console website I will give you the link in the description down below you can download it from there and this is actually a tutorial PDF as you can see in the down they have told you the modeling instruction how to model this in details so I am actually describing that but uh, in further more details okay so when you want to model the square you need the heat transfer equation and these are the two dimensional steady state heat convective heat transfer equations okay this one is the volume of the equation this one is the continuity equation and this one is the energy equation okay so those who haven't covered heat transfer courses can understand this okay so those who have covered this heat transfer courses i am sure you are familiar with these equations um these are in vector form so for your better understanding i have wrote this in differential form you are actually familiar with this form here you can see we have dimensional equation in comsol we can work with dimensional equation and also non-dimensional equation in this pdf they have worked with non-dimensional equation so i have written the non-dimensional equation okay in this tutorial i will show you how to work with non-dimensional equation and in the next tutorial I will show you how to show uh, work with dimensional equation okay so I've converted this dimensional equation into non-dimensional one using these non-dimensional parameters okay these are pretty basic mathematics if you can solve it I will also attach a link down below with my handwritten notes okay so what we have to do is now we have to compare these dimensional equation with non-dimensional one as you can see I have compared number three and number seven as you can see there is a row and there is no row so row is equal to 1 there is a mu and there is no mu so mu is equal to 1 again you can see there is a k and there is no k so k is equal to 1 and rho cp is equal to pr Prandtl number which is a non-dimensional number I think so you know it now rho is equal to 1 in this line so cp is equal to Prandtl number okay we'll discuss this body force later so let's input these parameters here uh, we'll go to the model toolbar this is model toolbar here we'll go home and select parameters we will select row as one which is the density k one thermal conductivity mu one viscosity then we have cp 
which is equal to frontal number okay specific okay now as you can see that frontal number it is an unknown parameter so we have to define it for air the frontal number is 0.71 frontal number okay and now in the model geometry model we have a heated wall heated wall and a cold wall so we have to define those also so th1 heated wall and tc0 cold wall okay and now let's talk about the body force okay as you're working with buoyancy driven flow so there is a gr uh, gravitational force actually i mean the fluid flow is disturbed by the gravitational force and this was found by scientist bosonic this is called the bosonic term as you can see in the y direction there is the extra term and in x direction there is no term so this is the dimensional form of bosonic's term and in the null dimension we get it this line this is gr into theta gr means crash of number and crash of numbers equals to rally number by prandtl number we will input this term in our parameter okay as body force so let's type it fy and write it ra by pr okay now okay now as you can see there we haven't defined ra so let's define ra as zero now why we have defined ra as zero because we want to vary this variable okay so in the later we, we are you in the in this video you can see that we will vary this RA value which is called the rally number okay now in the body force as you can see there is a temperature difference T minus TC but we haven't wrote it here okay because in console there is a option called volume force or body force whatever you call it we have to input that parameter there not here so you have to be careful about it we, you should never write here T minus TC will always use it in the volume force as you will see in the in this video later below okay so let's input this parameters here in laminar flow under fluid properties one as you can see density it's user defined so select rho dynamic viscosity user defined it's mu okay then we go to the initial values and select the pressure point p0 okay we haven't defined this pressure point it's an unknown variable so let's go to the variable and write it p0 0 pressure point okay it is a no slip condition we have no velocities okay now in the laminar flow we have to deal with the gravitational force so what we have to do is we have to select a force right so we go to the physics and select domain here we can see this is a force volume force which is the body force actually okay so in the parameter we have written the fy body force we'll write this here fy now as earlier i have said that we should not write this in the parameter we have to write it in the body force otherwise the console won't give a solution so here we'll write it t minus tc okay this variable must be here as console will use this difference to execute its calculation okay now in the model th as you can see there is a pressure point p0 selected in this point okay so we have to uh, select that so we go to points and go to pressure point constraint and select this point right here as you see 2.2 and select it p0 this is the pressure point okay uh, in enclosed cavity the pressure point is always zero okay but if this cavity was open in the upward then we could have select uh, we don't need to select console would, uh, by default selected atmospheric pressure okay now we go to the volume force again and select it all domains okay 
so we have finished the fluid properties now go to the heat transfer in fluids and heat transfer in fluid 1 we write it the pressure P0 we select the velocity field and selected velocity field we go to the thermal conductivity and selected user defined and write it capital K okay we go to the density and again selected user defined and write it rho go to the CP and write it CP okay uh, uh, we okay we have written it CP so let's CP okay and the gamma value is equal to CP here okay it's not a big deal what if you write if you write PR sorry CP you can write CP or you can write it one it's not a big deal okay it won't affect your console okay then we go to the initial values and select TC okay now as you can see in our model we have a heated wall and a cold wall uh, in non-dimensional equation or in non-dimensional input we input the heated wall as one or consider the heated wall as one and the cold wall as zero okay so we go to the home uh, model toolbar select physics and select boundaries and select temperature we define this temperature as th sorry th which is the heated wall okay this one is the heated wall so we again select boundaries and select temperature now we define it as tc which is the cold wall and this is the cold wall okay so we have defined the heat transfer in fluids now we go to mesh one and here we have an element size option we selected extra fine right click mesh one and go to more operations and select edge okay in this we will select two edges the heated wall and the cold wall okay now right click edge one and select size okay and here we have a calibrate for in predefined it will be extremely fine okay now we will go to mesh one and right click it and select free triangular okay select below well this part is I mean what will I say it was pretty fast I have signed it pretty fast don't worry in this PDF you have the modeling instructions okay uh, how to sorry the modeling instruction how to you it, uh, it has given step by step way of how to do this thing in console basically I'm telling this uh, so that you can better understand it okay and this is our result uh, here they have varied the rally number okay so now we have to vary the rally number as you can see in the parameter we have described the rally number as zero actually it is not zero it has some value so what we are going to do we go to the study one and select step one and go to study extension click auxiliary sweep here we add and here we will vary the rally number okay so here we will write 1 1 e1 1 e2 1 e3 1 e4 1 e5 1 e6 okay we will vary the rally number for the seven values now we have set all we have set our model now it's time for simulation so we'll go to the model toolbar and go to study here we'll select compute and wait for the result here this is the progress bar as you can see and here this is a convergence plot as you can see it shows the number of iterations and the error as you can see the error is quite low so it's good it's working fine the model and we will wait for the result the error is 10 to the minus 11 and see voila we have got our result okay now let's see our result is like this but we have got this don't worry in comcell we have results in four different things we have velocity we have pressure we have temperature we have isothermal contours and i think that they have shown the temperature okay this this is the temperature okay now how do we check this thing here the parameter value is ra16 
so as you can see it is for 1000 so we select 1000 and plot it you see this is one and this is the PDF one so our result matches let's see for 10,000 so select 10,000 and select plot here you see the curve is like this and here the curve is like this so it matches our provided here uh, result so we have done the problem congratulations I hope you uh, catch up with me if you can't catch up with me please pause this video and try to indulge what I have done and I will also give this PDF in the description uh, down below I will also give this document I will also give the handwritten where I have done this calculation and I will also provide you this console file okay so don't worry good luck with the next tutorial okay thank you very much